there are some times when you're looking for weaknesses in whatever it is that you're trying to do, and you find uh, some abnormalities, or something that maybe doesn't seem like a weakness until you look more in depth at it. And I found one of those today. Um, you guys will notice that I came back and I was doing this deadlift session at the rec center. Uh, I finished the rest of it back at home at the garage, but I wanted to make sure, since this was pretty much the heaviest that I will be going before the meet, that I wasn't trying to learn the groove and make the adjustments for the garage area. Uh, with my heaviest session on this. It's fine for the squats and for the bench because I didn't have really heavy stuff yet But I didn't want to have my first deadlift session in there be the cycle high basically and there was something that I noticed and it's that my I think my Conditioning is a little lower than I need it to be my general physical preparedness for a sport specific meat type setting because my first set there at 680 for two was really good and then I jumped up to 700, and normally I would have gone straight from 625 to whatever my top set would have been. I wanted to do more than this. I wanted to hit something like a 720, but this 700 was so much tougher, and I have a feeling part of that was because I did the 680 double right beforehand. And so I think that my ability to, uh, my work capacity for those heavier weights is a little down from what it used to be. But, um, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do about it now. Just do my best to try to work through it and figure that out and um, hopefully it's not going to be an end all and I'll just have to make sure that my attempts going into my uh, going into my seconds and thirds at the meet are I'm con just that I'm conscious about that uh, that I maybe don't have three all out max efforts and I might have to lower an opener and take some more conservative jumps or something I don't know but I went back home and this is the first time I've gotten to use the Swiss bar I was playing around with the handles um, I was a little disappointed with the deadlifting, and so I figured that trying something a little different in here would be a fun way to offset that frustration, and it was. Um, the Swiss bar is really hard to stabilize. It likes to go in and out, and so the wrist stability is, is a real challenge, and I don't know how much the bar... I think it's 25-pound bar, but uh, I did a few sets there just testing it out, and then I did some pull-ups and some a little bit of shoulder work with the new dumbbells that I have. I have 5s through 20s of dumbbells and I was just doing some rear delt work but I decided not to film that because I was just trying to get finished up so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video sorry I didn't have a bigger top set deadlift um, I'm disappointed in that myself but uh, you know th this isn't the time for those big max effort things that's gonna be in a couple weeks when I have meet time so thank you guys again and I will talk to you soon I'm gonna head to a wedding this weekend so I probably won't have another video up until uh, at least Sunday night but I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend, and yeah, stay awesome. Bye.